Today on Riff Spirits and Gear, we talk about home recording on a budget in 2021. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, I suppose, back in 2016, I made a home recording on a budget video and that video has gotten a lot of views over the years. However, I felt the need to kind of revisit it because, well, frankly, a lot of things have changed since 2016. I mean, in that video, the best amp sim that I knew of at the time was, you know, like Amplitude or something. And, you know, in the, in the recent years, the digital revolution, as I like to call it, as far as amp sims alone, never mind, you know, drum and MIDI based stuff has exploded and has gotten so good. But also along with that, the options are paralyzing for someone who is wanting to get into home recording or maybe, you know, a young guitarist that is just wanting to record uh, their ideas. So I thought I would update that original video. And here we are, home recording on a budget for 2021. Now, before we go any further, this video is technically sponsored by Sweetwater as I have reached out to Sweetwater to help me organize the things and the hardware elements that I wanted to present to you guys. So to that end, this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. However, all thoughts and opinions are mine. So first let's lay down some ground rules for home recording on a budget 2021. I'm going to assume some basic guidelines. You are a guitar player who is at home and has limited resources, but some resources, and you're wanting to record your own music and you may be wanting to put together a demo possibly for a band, your band, someone else's band, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the guidelines that I was kind of thinking in my head, basically me when I started this YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and talk about computers. Now, computers, again, is a very, very deep subject, but if we were talking audio, audio only, not video, any modern computer laptop is gonna be pretty well equipped to handle the audio that you are trying to do if you're looking at this video, if you're on a budget, especially with the uh, rollout of the uh, silicone M1 Apple stuff, even the entry level MacBooks are so much more powerful than the MacBook Pros just a couple of years ago. So honestly, without getting super nerdy into computer specs, just about anything PC or Mac will do just fine for audio. Again, I would get as much you know, RAM as possible, get as much memory as possible. I just you know, get what you can afford. It's honestly probably fine. So next let's talk about arguably probably the most important thing in this whole equation, your DAW, your digital audio workstation, your recording software, what are you gonna use? Well, if you're on a budget, I mean, it's pretty tough to beat Reaper. I started out on Reaper myself. Now Reaper costs, let's see, what does Reaper cost? Reaper costs $60 and it is a full featured DAW that can do everything you want it to. Lots of pros use Reaper. I myself do not like Reaper anymore. I outgrew it, not outgrew it, I just, it just wasn't for me. That's workflow and all that kind of stuff. But again, if you're on a budget, just starting out like I once was, that 60 bucks is pretty appealing. Reaper runs both PC and Mac. So that is something to consider when choosing a DAW. Now there's also other DAWs like, uh, you know, uh, Persona Studio One. There's Cubase, which also all three of those run on Mac and Windows. But then you get to the more uh, you know operating system specific DAWs like Logic. Logic is Mac only because it is an Apple product, which is what I use. But um, first you need to decide what you're uh, gonna start recording on. And I don't know if you have a PC or Mac. However, I will note that um, any of these DAWs are going to be just as great as the other. It really depends on your use case. There is no wrong answer here, but if you're on a, an extreme budget and really just want to get started, Reaper is probably the way to go. The amp sim game is extremely, 
extremely deep. Now for me personally, I tend to kind of gravitate towards three main companies and those are Neural DSP, ML Sound Lab, and STL Tones. For me personally, for high gain stuff, clean stuff, and everything in between. Neural DSP Gojira is, you know, it's over a hundred dollars. It's definitely more on the expensive side. However, it's very well worth it. Um, and then you have the other end of the spectrum. Uh, I have a signature uh, amplifier sim called Amped Roots, and it has a free 5150 amp sim. And if you choose to buy the whole thing, then you unlock the three other amps. But it does begin with a completely free amp sim. Other offerings from ML Sound Lab include uh, the 800, the Mark, the Diesel amp sims, uh, and then the STL Tones amp sim. Uh, the one I like in particular is the Amp Hub uh, amp sim because of the, the rectifiers just sounds really, really good as a, in addition to the Sultano. The prices that you can expect to pay for amp sims just depends on what you choose, but you can expect to range from free all the way up to, you know, 200 bucks. So there you go, amp sims. Next, you're gonna need drums and uh, MIDI drums, again, very, very deep, but if we're on a budget, the most bang for your buck, cheapest MIDI drums that I would recommend is the Mjolnir drum kit from Solemn Tones. That goes for about 70 bucks. Um, if you want to step up a little bit, uh, Tune Track Easy Drummer 2 is a fantastic drum software. And also, when you get into the Tune Track stuff, you get into the entire Tune Track ecosystem. So there's tons and tons of expansion kits and uh, just MIDI packs and all sorts of things. So you really are uh, buying an entire ecosystem when you buy into any Tune Track product. So if you can afford it, spring for the $150 and definitely go for Tune Track Easy Drummer 2. Now let's talk about MIDI bass. I know it's a dirty, it's a dirty word in the guitar universe, MIDI bass. Well, just play the bass. Well, maybe sometimes you can't. Maybe you don't want to. Also, maybe you're playing in a bunch of different tunings and you don't have 50 basses to record with. So MIDI bass is a good option. Now, it's very, very deep in the MIDI bass world and not all MIDI bass plugins are created equal. However, on the budget side, I would definitely recommend Loki Bass 2 uh, by Solemn Tones. That's $87, which is a massive bang for your buck. I use this plugin all the time. It does not require contact, which is like 600 bucks. Um, or if you wanna step up, I would recommend Tune Track Easy Bass because it is by far my favorite sounding MIDI bass plugin. They just released uh, a metal expansion pack as well. This costs 150 bucks to get into, and it sounds, it's no, no one would ever believe that it wasn't real bass when you're using TuneTrack Easy Bass. But those are the two uh, MIDI bass plugins that I would recommend. Okay, so now we have arrived to the hardware section, and I've divided this up into a couple of different levels of bundles. We have bundles one, two, and three, and you can think of them as good, better, and best. And in these bundles are two different choices of interface, headphones, and studio monitors. Now we're going to start, because I don't know your budget, we are going to start with studio bundle number one. Now for the cheapest interface, I would actually recommend that you use is a Behringer Euphoria UMC 202 HD. Why? Well, because this is an $80 interface. The converters sound great. It's bus powered, meaning it doesn't require a wall art. It can just be powered via USB. There's two inputs, phantom power. You can use it with a micro, you can use a couple of different microphones. You can plug your guitar right into it. It will do everything you need to do as a lone guitarist trying to make music. The other option, because you know there are options, uh, is the Personas Audio Box USB 96. Now, why would I recommend this? Because if you buy this, you also get your DAW. This comes with uh, Studio One Artist, which is normally another hundred bucks. So that's something to think about when considering what recording software to use up front. 
So that is why I listed that because that is a huge perk and it's a rock solid interface. So why wouldn't you want rock solid? But Behringer and Personas is definitely the way I would go for budget entry level interfaces. Now for headphones, Sennheiser HD 280, a classic headphones, good enough for Joe Rogan, good enough for me, right? These headphones actually legit sound great. I used to mix on them all the time. If you don't like that $99 price point, you can also go to the AKG K240s, which don't have a ton of low end, but everything else sounds so, so good. Joey Sturgis used to mix on these uh, these cans, believe it or not. So, you know, they're good enough for him, they're good enough for me, in my opinion. And for monitors, for actual studio monitors, Cali Audio. For me, it's the LP6s. They're a six and a half inch monitor. It's 300 bucks for the pair. They are flat, they are so good sounding. And if you want something a little less money, uh, I would go for the Personas Aries uh, E 4.5 inch powered speakers, um, 200 bucks for the pair. Can't go wrong there. They sound good, I've heard them, I've, I've mixed on them at NAMM. They sound great, honestly. Um, for microphones, now you could use these microphones to talk in like I am talking right now, or you can use them on a guitar cab or whatever. I try to make these kind of like a um, multi-use case microphone, classic SM57 or a Rode PodMic Cardioid Dynamic Broadcast Microphone, 100 bucks each, depending on what your use case is. And yes, you can use an SM57 as a vocal mic as the official president of the United States vocal mic. So fun facts. So now let's talk about bundle number Two. Bundle number two is gonna be a little bit more money. This is gonna be kind of the mid range of what I would consider, you know, if if you have a very, very uh, great job and your home recording on a budget is a couple of grand or something, this would be the bundle that you would look into. So I would go with a Focusrite Claret 8 Pre USB. Um, this is a fantastic uh, interface. I used it for many, many years. It never let me down. It was such a great interface. This is going to run you about 900 bucks. However, compared to the interfaces in bundle one, you're going to get a ton more in and out. So you can mic up a full drum kit, for example, lots more inputs, lots more outputs. It's going to sound a little bit more clean, a little bit more crisp. Um, it's just more bells and whistles and stepping up as far as as the audio interface thing goes. Now for headphones, I would recommend a pair of Sennheiser HD 650s or a Barry Dynamic DT 1990 Pros. Um, you know, the HD 650 is pretty much the go-to headphone for uh, mix engineers these days that don't wanna spend a ton of money, but they wanna be able to actually like listen and, and know what they're hearing. Uh, if you wanna step up a little bit more monetarily, you know, the DT1990 Pros are 600 bucks. And then for monitors, I would recommend the Neumann KH120. I've mixed on Neumann monitors uh, for many, many years. I currently am on a pair of 310s, which we will talk about in a little bit. But the KH120s are huge bang for the buck. They're $730 a piece. Or you could go to the uh, Focal Shape 65, 6.5 inch uh, studio monitors, wonderful sounding monitors. These are about a thousand bucks a piece. So again, depending on your budget, these could be the monitors for you, but these are what I would choose if you have the money and going back down to the microphones you could start off with the slate VMS, uh, virtual mic system, uh, for 600 bucks. Or, uh, if you want to step up a little bit more, you get a Neumann TLM 102. This is going to be good on guitar cabs, vocal. I am talking into one right now. Um, it's going to be good on all sorts of stuff. So you could podcast with it, you could record guitars with it, voiceover work, etc., etc. That is bundle number two. So now we're on to bundle number three. Uh, this is this is the expensive stuff, and maybe your budget is the expensive stuff. I don't know. Everyone's budget is different. So we're gonna dive right in to 
my studio bundle number three for interface for the interface i would recommend a universal audio apollo x8 this is what i am using right now to talk to you guys um this is what i have used for a couple of years now it has been rock solid and with the universal audio stuff you're getting all of their wonderful plugins totally real time latency free this interface is also going to run you about three grand which is a lot of money ton of money for headphones i would highly recommend the sennheiser hd 800 s open back audiophile headphones these are fourteen hundred dollars but they sound like the lord himself is whispering to you <laughs> so they you know exactly where your money went when you put these on for monitors these are what i use these are what i love these are what i know and i know a ton of studio friends that have these monitors as well the neumann uh, KH310 eight and a quarter inch uh, monitors are so phenomenal. They also run you about $2,300 a pop. Very, very pricey, not budget. It may be your budget monitors. I don't know your budget. And lastly, Neumann TLM 103 for your vocal mic and or guitar cab mic. Again, this is another multi-use case for the microphones. Um, the TLM 103 is the big brother to the TLM 102, which I am talking to, uh, talking into right now, about 1100 bucks. So it is a, uh, it is a very, very, uh, not, not inexpensive microphone. There we go. That's the studio bundle. Number three, I, I hope that helps you. I will link down below in the description to all of this stuff that I have mentioned in this video. If you want to check all of it out and again, all of this is just a starting point for you to start your own musical journey. All of this stuff is not necessarily what will work for you, but it has worked for me in the past. So I, I hope that can be of some use to you as well. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. If you liked the video you just watched, please consider subscribing and if you want to further support me and what i do consider using some of the affiliate links down below in the description of this video go on over to sweetwater buy yourself something and help me out at the same time it's a win-win for both of us